podcast. Oh my goodness. Rachel, how long did this take you to make? Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Hi, I'm Rachel, and I am still here at my parents' house in good old Connecticut. So since I'm here, and I have nothing to do, I thought I would do something special for my parents for Valentine's Day. So normally on Valentine's Day, they'll go out to eat at one of their favorite restaurants, but obviously they don't feel safe doing that this year, and they also aren't super comfortable with the idea of ordering takeout. So I figured I would recreate their favorite three-course restaurant meal, but it's also gonna be vegan. So I'm gonna go talk to them and find out which meal they'd be missing the most. Hello, Mom and Dado. Hi, Rach. Hi, Rach. <laughs> so why don't you tell me what your favorite restaurants for a special fancy occasion? I would say, Good what would say? In, in New Haven. Haven. Ooh. So what's your favorite appetizer from Goodfellas? Oh, definitely the panna cotta. <laughs> Is that how you say it? I've been pronouncing Panic. it wrong. <laughs> so what's in that? She's got all in beans and cannellini beans cooked together with garlic and a little Parmesan cheese and bread baked so it gets a little crunchy on the top. It's delicious. What would you have for dinner? They have a very delicious scallops with a thin spaghetti and a red pepper sauce, which mm -hmm. is just out of this world. You know he's going all out when he's ordering some seafood. It's a big deal. <laughs> it's a crazy day for dad. <laughs> what would you have for dessert? I love cheesecake, and they have an amaretto cheesecake. Ooh, you do love amaretto. Mm -hmm. That's like the almondy flavor, right? Yes. Okay. I love mm -hmm. almond flavor in anything. Almond? Merle makes fun of me because I got it for her! <laughs> Dado, and you like this cheesecake too? The cheesecake at Goodfellas is just super delicious, and there's a really rich, dark chocolate ganache on top. I love it. Well, this is gonna be a challenge because I'm gonna make restaurant food and not only that, but make it vegan. You are amazing. You can do it. Um, I wouldn't be able to do it, but you can do it. I have a lot of faith <laughs> in you, Rachel. I think you can do it. Thanks, Dad. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna get started on is the amaretto cheesecake because this is gonna take the longest. So I'm gonna first start on the crust. I'm gonna add some graham crackers some organic sugar and some coconut oil and pulse that together until it reaches the consistency of wet sand. First, I'm going to spray my springform pan with some cooking spray and line it with a piece of parchment paper. Now I'm gonna transfer my graham cracker mixture into the bottom of my springform pan using a measuring cup to help me press it down evenly. Then I'm gonna bake it at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for eight to 10 minutes and then take it out and let it cool. Now to the food processor, I'm gonna add some cashews, a can of full fat coconut milk, some amaretto, some lemon juice, and a tablespoon of miso. And then I'm gonna blend that up for about two to three minutes until it's really smooth. Next, I'm gonna add in some organic sugar, cornstarch, which is gonna help the cheesecake firm up, and some silken tofu. If this doesn't all fit in your food processor, then you can do it in two batches. And then I just blended that up for another two to three minutes to make sure it's really smooth and there's no grittiness from the cashews. Next, I wrapped some aluminum foil around the outside of my springform pan and placed it into a larger baking dish. Now I'm gonna add one inch of boiling water to create a water bath for my cheesecake. Now I'm going to bake my cheesecake for one hour. So while that's chilling, I'm gonna get started on my appetizer, which is the panna cotto. And so the first thing I'm going to do is make some homemade vegan Parmesan cheese. And I mean, if you really just wanna to go to the store and buy yourself some vegan Parmesan, do that. But this is really just for if you have some extra time on your hands because you haven't seen another person your age in over two months, then this is for you. So first, I'm gonna add some cashews, macadamia nuts, and nutritional yeast to a food processor and just process that up until it reaches a nice fine crumble like you can see here. Now to a saucepan over low heat, I'm going to add some refined coconut oil and my agar agar, which is an algae, which is a good vegan substitute for gelatin. And I'm gonna whisk that continuously for about five minutes and then remove it from the heat. Now I'm gonna add my oil mixture back in with the cashews and then add some miso paste for a little bit of a tangy flavor and some salt. And then just pulse that until it comes together. And now I'm gonna transfer this into a small bowl or ramekin and then just stick it in the freezer for about one to two hours until it firms up. Okay, so now I'm gonna get started on the panna cotta part of the recipe. 
to a saucepan over medium heat, I'm going to add some olive oil and about three to four cloves of minced garlic. And I'm just gonna saute that for a couple minutes until the garlic is fragrant. Then I'm gonna add in my escarole, which I washed really well to just get all of the dirt off of it. And I'm just gonna let that cook down a little bit so it's not taking up so much volume in the pan. And then I'm gonna add in my drained cannellini beans and some salt. Throughout this whole recipe, I'm just kind of winging it with the salt and the olive oil. So you can use as much as you want depending on what your preferences are. Then I stirred that all together, added a splash of water, covered it, and let it cook down for a few minutes. So now that the escarole has wilted down a little bit, I'm gonna add in my cubed bread. I used ciabatta bread, which I toasted in the oven for about 10 minutes. But if you have any stale bread lying around, this is the perfect recipe to use it in. I'm gonna add another healthy drizzle of olive oil here, a little bit more salt and some water and just mix this all together. I know my mom likes it a little bit more toasty, so I'm gonna use a little bit less water than they did in the restaurant recipe. And now I'm just gonna cover this again and let the bread soften up. Now I'm gonna add some black pepper and some red pepper flakes and stir this all together. It looks like it's cooked down nicely and now I'm just gonna transfer it into my baking dish. So once my Parmesan finished chilling, I took it out of its mold. And you can even slice this Parmesan if you want, which is really cool. But I'm gonna take it and grate it over this panna cotta. Now I'm gonna pop this in the fridge until it's ready to bake. Okay, so now I'm gonna start on the scallop pasta with red pepper sauce. For my scallops, I'm actually gonna take a page out of Merle's book and I'm gonna use king oyster mushrooms to make the scallops. So the recipe calls for four king oyster mushrooms, but these are freaking enormous. <laughs> but that will be good because the scallops will be pretty big then, just like they are at Goodfellas. So the first thing I'm gonna do is cut off the tops of these mushrooms, and then I'm gonna slice them into pieces about an inch thick. Now I'm gonna make a marinade for our mushroom scallops. So I'm gonna add a half of a nori sheet torn up into little pieces, some lemon juice, and the zest of one lemon. I'm just using a microplane here, some organic sugar, white mellow miso, salt, some rice wine vinegar, and a neutral oil like canola or grapeseed oil. And then I'm just gonna mix that all up and set it aside. So to a medium pot, I'm gonna add some water, lemon juice, the other half of my nori sheet torn up into pieces, organic sugar, salt, and some low sodium soy sauce. And then I'm just gonna bring that to a simmer and just stir it to make sure all of the sugar is dissolved. And then I'm gonna add in my mushrooms and cook them for about four to six minutes or until they're soft. And then I'm just gonna remove them with a slotted spoon and transfer them right into my marinade and then pop them in the fridge for two to four hours. So while those are marinating, now I'm gonna get started on the chocolate ganache sauce. So to a microwave safe bowl, I'm going to add two cups of dark chocolate chunks and a half a cup of canned coconut milk. Make sure it's the full fat canned kind. Then I'm gonna microwave this for two minutes, stirring it halfway through. And you should have this great, thick, chocolatey consistency. And now I'm just gonna add in one tablespoon of my amaretto and stir this all together and set it aside. Okay, so I just took my cheesecake out of the fridge and I removed the springform pan. And now I'm going to just pour my chocolate ganache sauce on top. Ooh, this looks so good. And now I'm just gonna use my spatula to spread it out over the cheesecake. And I wanna let it just drip down the edges so it creates this pretty effect. And they don't do this for the restaurant cheesecake, but now I'm just gonna top it with some raspberries for a final touch. Oh my gosh, this cake looks so good and I can't wait to see how it tastes. Okay, so my mushroom scallops have been marinating for about two hours now. I can't believe how many hours there are in this day. It's miraculous, really. So now, I'm going to take them out and I'm just gonna pat them dry with my dishcloth. And then I'm just gonna cut little tiny cross hatches into them and this is just gonna help the heat distribute more evenly when they're cooking. So now to my skillet, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of a neutral oil over a medium high heat. And then I'm gonna just add in my little mushroom scallops. And I'm just gonna let these sear for about two to three minutes on each side until they're golden brown. And then I'm gonna add in about a tablespoon of some vegan butter 
butter and then just mix that around so we get that nice buttery flavor infused into the scallops. And then when they're done, I'll just remove them from the heat. Now I'm gonna get started on my pasta sauce. The first thing I need to do is roast a head of garlic. So I'm just gonna cut the top off of my garlic head and then I'm gonna drizzle on some olive oil and wrap it in some aluminum foil. And now I'm just gonna roast this at 400 degrees for about 35 to 40 minutes. And while it's roasting, I'm gonna cook my pasta and set it aside for later. And now I'm gonna start the next part of the sauce. First, I'm gonna add some olive oil over a medium heat. And then I'm gonna saute two shallots and three cloves of garlic and saute that for a few minutes until it's translucent and fragrant and season it with a pinch of salt. Now I'm gonna add my shallots and garlic mixture to a blender, along with my roasted garlic, some roasted red peppers, vegetable broth, coconut milk, nutritional yeast, cornstarch, a little bit of paprika, and some salt. And then I'm just gonna blend that all up until it's really smooth and transfer it into a saucepan over low to medium heat. Now I'm gonna let this cook for about five to 10 minutes until it warms through and the cornstarch helps it thicken up. And then I'm gonna add in my pasta. Okay, this looks so good. So now it's time to plate everything up and serve it to my parents. Okay, here's your first course. Oh my goodness, Rachel. Looks great. Mm. Wow. What do you think about the vegan Parmesan? I didn't even realize it was. It tastes yeah. like real Parmesan to me. Mm -hmm. I would say that theirs is a little creamier and yours is a little bit crispier, but I like it crispier better. I knew it! <laughs> the escrolls it's cooked, but it's not completely mushy. Mm -hmm. I like it where it still has a little texture. A little al dente, as they say? A little al dente, yes. Compared to the Goodfellas, I would give this a 7 or 8 out of 10. Compared to Goodfellas, I would give this a, an 8. Your next dish pairs well with a white wine. <laughs> the finest Kirkland brand. Happy Valentine's Day. Salute. Wow. Oh, course. look at that, Roasted Rachel. Red pepper pasta with sea scallops. Wow. That Enjoy. Looks, looks oh my goodness. It smells great. Yeah. These aren't scallops. They're not real scallops. No, not. They look like scallops. They look like scallops. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Mm. Wow, that's good. The texture is just like scallop. It is. All right, let me go for the pasta. Mm. Definitely taste the um, roasted red pepper. If the restaurant version is a 10, what would you give this one? A 9. Really? Yeah, it's really, really good. Wow. Yeah, it's ex excellent. I actually like this better because it has more roasted red pepper flavor. And also, the scallops, they're more flavorful. Okay, it's time for dessert. All right. Um, oh, looks good, Rach. So this is your amaretto dairy-free cheesecake. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. mm, definitely taste the amaretto. I'm in heaven. This is chocolatey. I'm gonna have a little raspberry on top there. I love the crust. Oh, this creamy filling is, it mm. tastes like some kind of cream. But it's vegan, so what do you think it is? An almond milk or a cashew milk? Is it a nut That's paste? sweetened. <laughs> Compared to Goodfellas, I would rate this a nine. Wow! You know? Are you sure it's not Mi just the wine talking? It's not the wine talking. This is a, <laughs> in fact, I might give it a nine and a half. A seven, because I like my cheesecake to be firmer. How was the service? Oh, the service was Excellent. perfect. You're I have to leave tip. you a nice tip. Oh, happy Valentine's <laughs> Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Thank you. <laughs>